But what I think I should do. Hey girl, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday. It's September 26th, I believe. Yes, yeah, September 26th. I just got back home. We had a couple errands earlier today. My kids both had appointments. So um, we're back home. It's like it's 11 o'clock. So pretty early. They had like 8:30, 9 o'clock appointments. Anyways, I did stop and get some matcha at Starbucks. Because I need all the energy today. I literally could not fall asleep last night. I don't know what it was. I was just like unable to fall asleep at a reasonable time. I was so annoyed with myself because I knew I had to drive real early in the morning. So I'm like, how in the world am I about to drive and be so tired? So I did eventually fall asleep. I don't even know what time it was because it was one of those nights where... It was so late that I didn't even want to know the time. Like, I didn't want to know. I was supposed to be up at 5.30 because I wanted to do certain things before we left. But I snoozed my way up until 6.45. We were a little late, but it was fine. I have another appointment later. It's just so many appointments. But this is my last appointment for a while, so I'm happy. And then I really need to zone in on my schedule and plan out every single second of the next few days. Because I have a lot of stuff to shoot and I wanna make sure that I have time to shoot it. I have my iPad over here because I wanna start working on like my schedule. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It's the last week of September, which is absolutely insane, but it's a new month. We love a new month. I feel like it's just a refresh, a new start. I'm just gonna check my emails and get to work. I will talk to y'all a little bit later. I have about an hour before I need to leave the house, so. Yeah, I'm going to do emails for an hour, plan some stuff out, and then I'll talk to y'all a little later. I am so annoyed right now. I literally went to my doctor's appointment, and it got moved to the next month. So a few weeks ago, I called my doctor's appointment, and I told them I couldn't come at the time. I think my appointment was at 9 o'clock originally, and I was like, I can't make it for 9. Is there any way I can come in later or like the next week? And the receptionist said that there was actually another appointment later in the day it was at one o'clock i was like perfect schedule me for that time so she schedules me for one o'clock today or so i thought so i go to the doctor's appointment and they can't find me in the schedule so i'm like what so they search my name and they find me next month she literally put me next month like the same date but next month at one o'clock and i'm like you're kidding you're kidding like i don't understand like you had one job i don't even understand how that's possible like she said we have one o'clock the same day i don't understand how she ends up a month away like i don't get it i don't i don't even understand how that's i don't even understand how that's possible because how do you end up a whole month away but my, obviously the doctor is busy today so she couldn't take me in and she's busy for the next few weeks, so I'm just going to keep the other appointment. And I'm just like, I'm going to keep the other appointment. It wasn't an emergency. She just wanted to repeat my B12 because I had done B12 levels with her after going to the med spa. And I had gotten like a B12 infusion. And um, she was like, whoa, 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 your B12 levels are crazy. So I told her that I had done the infusion. I, I told her I had done the infusion. So she wanted to see what my levels were like without getting any supplemental B12. So um, that was the only reason why I was coming in today. So, I mean, it's fine. It's not an emergency or anything like that. But I drove all the way here and I'm like, I could have been home doing work. You know, like I have a lot of stuff to do this week. I could have been doing work and reframed my whole day, but it is what it is. I'm going to go grab a veggie patty. Hopefully they have a golden crust and then I'm going to go home. I'm wearing my Ray-Ban circle, circular sunglasses. Where's my lip balm? I have this one. I've been really liking this. It's minty. So I really like it. I have a lot of work lined up for me, which I'm so grateful for. Most of it is going to be on Instagram. Um, 
and some of it's not going to be on my page at all but for the brand's page so yeah got my little veggie patty i got this drink it's a sour sop in passion and last time i had the ginger girl it took me out so i got this one instead i also stopped at sax on fifth right here they have some cute stuff definitely the sunglasses section is where i would see myself getting stuff i saw quite a few different styles that i liked and styles that i have wanted in the past so i'm gonna definitely consider doing sunglasses from like sex or fifth or whatever instead of getting it full price all right so i'm back home i've been trying to do some work on my laptop i just edited a reel that i'm gonna post on instagram but i got a little package got some stuff from monica Venata, which i'm really excited about i love their jewelry most of my jewelry that i wear is from them because they have really good quality this is the inside this is the first thing that i got i actually have this necklace in the shorter length and my plan is to wear it doubled this is the shorter one here on the left i've had it for about a year now and you can see the quality is pretty much the exact same so and i bathe with it and the color it's changed a little bit but honestly not that much i wouldn't advise you to wear these in the shower but i do oh this is a bracelet that i got I, I wanted some new bracelet I got this one it's like a nice dainty chain i really liked it but it was really nice i got this bracelet you can see that i thought this was really really nice i got this bracelet i will have all of these links below i think this is called a paper paper clip something like that but i will have them all linked so you guys can find them if you're wondering why i have my robe it's because i'm freaking cold y'all i'm always cold but today i'm like exceptionally cold oh this is so pretty so pretty okay this piece i definitely had to get these are earrings and it's like this cool shape like you see that so pretty this is the back here it's gonna look so cute. I'm definitely excited to try these on. Cute. I'm gonna look at the picture for these because I forget which way it goes, but I thought they were so cute. I had to get those. I love a nice chunky gold earring. Well, chunky in general, I guess. And then I got two more pieces. I think one is another bracelet. Because I wanted like a stack of bracelets. Oh yeah, this is another bracelet. This actually matches kind of my necklaces. It has little beads on there. So this is the other bracelet that I got. And it has little beads. If you can probably, I don't know if you can see that. It has little beads on it. So it kind of matches the necklaces that I picked out. So cute. Okay, and then lastly, I actually, for the first time, I ordered a pair of gold earrings, which I'm really excited about. These are actually 14K gold. So they're not plated, they're solid gold. I typically never change out my second earring. Like I just keep it the same. It's usually a stud, a small stud, and I just keep it in my ears. I don't really take it out. I wanted something new for the season. So I picked these out. I thought these would be really cute. Hopefully they look just as cute in person. Let's see. These are too cute. They have a little baby diamond as well. This look, hopefully you can see it's really tiny, so it's like harder to see, I think. But it's so pretty, it's so cute. I think this is gonna look really good in my second hole. So pretty and dainty and just like really nice. Hey y'all, it's 10 30. A little bit. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I have to go on my tippy toes because the camera is all the way up here. <laughs> but it's 1030 right now. I just filmed. It's going to be a voiceover. That's why I was able to film it so late because typically I cannot film anything once my kids are home. But it's a voiceover. It's a little like real short TikTok type of video. Yeah, I just got done. So I'm wrapping up my work day. And I'm about to do my skincare, so I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm doing a TikTok as well, so I have my phone set up right here with a little light. So I'm trying to like be active on all these other platforms. So let's see how it goes because I'm like so terrible at it. Let me try to change this light to see if I like. I think I like this better. Let's get ready for bed. I put so much oil in my hair over the past few days. It's now very much given stiff. I mean, kind of. Pretty much. I'm gonna wrap it all up. 
this is what I'm using today. Um, I really like this. I had given a little break to these types of cleansers because I thought they were clogging my sink. But I really love using these, so I kind of went back to them. I just um, no longer rinse everything into the sink. I kind of just wipe it all off and then toss out my cloth so that way it's not going down the drain because I still don't know and I'd rather just not even try because it hasn't been clogged so yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know what that means could be a coinky dink anyway uh, actually this camera is about to die so I'm gonna turn y'all off and I'm gonna finish my skincare honestly I feel like you guys seen this routine so many times so I'm just gonna turn Good morning, it's Wednesday. I look a hot mess. I've been editing some content, so I just pretty much wrapped up one video. I still need to do some final touches, but I think I'm gonna get dressed, get something to drink for energy, and then continue working. What? What? Shut up, girl. It's perfume. It's flower bomb. It's one of their like versions. This is flower bomb ruby orchid. I've never smelled this one. I was definitely a huge flower bomb girly when it first launched like years ago. Wait. Let's smell this. It smells pretty good through the box, but I'm excited. the cutest little bottle and I got this package it's a fancy fancy beauty there it's actually it's actually the um, liquid lipsticks I haven't tried these yet honestly I don't even know how I haven't tried them I just haven't tried them yet so they said oh there's some new shades okay so there's some new shades in the velvet liquid lipstick so the new shades are i believe these right here i believe these are the new shades right here sent me they sent me three of the new shades so these are the three that they sent fashion fiend fireproof and truth fairy but these look really good i'm gonna do like a little tiktok or a reel with these probably later i'm trying to be really good about that stuff because i have not been the best i go to starbucks i'm actually gonna get coffee today i haven't had coffee in months since may so i think i'm gonna try a little coffee today see what happens i'm gonna check my bp tonight and tomorrow you know make sure we're okay i'm gonna get dressed i'm just gonna wear this sweatshirt from skims i'm gonna wear my new perfume today from flower bomb this is it here OOTD is this sweater from Skims that is now so oversized. I'm a little sad about it because I really love this sweater and I don't know if she's going to bring back this color. Um, and I'm just wearing some gray leggings. I was trying to find a black pair but I couldn't so I'm going to wear this. I'm going to wear this bag just because it already has all my stuff in there and I don't feel like changing it out. So I'm going to wear, I'm gonna take this, my phone. Let us go. All right, so just got my coffee. Haven't had coffee in so long. Yeah. All right, so I'm back home. I actually got some lashes at CVS, well, Walgreens while I was out. And they're on sale at Walgreens, also at Ulta, for basically $6 each because um, it's CVS, Walgreens has them, buy two, get one free, which turns out to be like $6 a piece. And then Ulta has them on sale for $5.99 each, which is also $6 each. So yeah, um, definitely love this style. If you haven't tried it and you really like fluffy eyelashes, like um, lash extensions, these give you a similar effect. So check these out. These are definitely my favorite drugstore lash. By the way, this is actually all that they had left in stock. I definitely would have gotten more pairs if i had the opportunity to so i have one video that i'm still working on editing my laptop just died so i'm gonna charge it up a bit um, all right so i have one video that i need to also edit and do a voiceover for but before i do that i'm actually gonna film another video so that way when i sit down to edit i can just edit back to back and i have to then go film so i'm gonna go film a video 
Um, I'm trying a new eyeshadow palette. I'm excited to try it. And th this content is going to live on my Instagram. So it's with Jupia's Place. So um, yeah, I'm definitely excited to try this palette. It's really pretty. So I'm going to go film that. Um, drink my coffee. I'm only going to drink like half of it. I'm not going to drink the whole thing because it's my first day <laughs> having coffee in a long time since May. I'm going to wear one of these. All right, let's go set up so we can start filming. My closet is back in shambles. I don't know how it happens, but it just always happens. It just, I, I don't know. Um, let's just cover this. Where's the cover? Oh, it's right here. You know, I was thinking yesterday that the, what the heck is going on? That the new, um, the new perfume that I got from Love Shack Fancy, it doesn't smell like this, but it reminds me of this. Something about it reminds me of this type of, it reminds me of this perfume. They just have a similar tone, like a similar vibe to them. So yeah, um, yeah. If you like this, go smell those because maybe you'll like those as well. I'm just putting these in random spots because I just want to clear at least this area. On Friday, I'm going to wear that green jumpsuit that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I've been dying to wear it, so I think I'm going to wear it on Friday to the um, Sephora event. Let me see if this top fits. Um, Y'all, I've had this top for like two years and it never fit me, but I never returned it. And that's the case for a lot of things. I got it at Zara. Never returned it, but I'm pretty sure it fits now. I'm going to wear this, I think, to film. Actually, I'm going to look at the eyeshadow palette. Maybe this won't really work for it. But I found a bunch of stuff in my closet, you guys, that didn't fit and now fits. I don't know where I put them. I have a bunch of jeans from Zara that I bought years ago that I never returned. Oh, they're, they're all right here. All these jeans, they fit me now, but they have had them for literally like years this one this one this one this is from h&m i don't even remember buying this but these pants fit now they never used to i have a lot of pants this these right here they're the same style all these are all from zara except that one's from h&m and i think this one's from madewell but i'm like i'm a little annoyed that i would actually not return any of these because it's a lot of denim and honestly a lot of them are skinny leg and a lot of them are skinny um like skinny leg denim and I'm not really into that so much right now I still wear it but I prefer like the mom cut right now so I'm kind of like annoyed that I never returned these to be honest but they do fit now so at least I can wear them um I'm actually gonna wear this I'm gonna wear my skims brown set this is the outdoor collection and then this jacket because I'm a little cold so I'm going to wear this and I'm going to do my extensions to film. And then I think I might film on, I think I'll do an OOTD when I'm done with my makeup. I'll take this all off and then do an OOTD for Instagram using my phone. I am trying to make sure that I told myself when I got this phone that I was going to def- Y'all, my ring is like, it's killing me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My poor ring does not fit anymore. Um, anyways, I told myself when I got this phone that I was definitely going to use it to do content. Like, that was my biggest reason for getting it. I'm like, I'm definitely going to need, I'm definitely going to be doing content, content, content. So, I am making sure that I film all the things, okay? Like, I got home today from the drugstore. I took pictures of these. I shared them already. I shared the Fenty lips already on my stories on Instagram. I'm trying to be really good about doing my content now that I have a better phone camera because it's a lot to record on the bigger cameras and then edit on my computer. This makes my life a lot easier. I do think the difference is noticeable between this and my old phone, to be honest. While I was Picking up my clothes, FedEx just dropped this off, so I'm gonna open it. It's from Vegamore. I'm excited to see what's in here. I have definitely heard really good things about this brand for hair care and just hair growth and stuff like that, so I'm excited. By the way, I've seen some of you ask, like, how do I get PR and stuff like that? It's not really a straightforward answer, to be honest, because there's different factors, but one thing that I will say is if you're using a product from a brand definitely share it on your socials so share it on instagram share it on youtube 
brands search that stuff like they will search their name so definitely label it you know if you're talking about I don't know Fenty um, you know title your thing Fenty have it in the description box put it in a hashtag on Instagram so that when the brand is searching they'll see that you're sharing their product and you love their products that's like the most common way I feel like brands reach out to me because Typically, like, I'll share a product and then a few days later I'll get an email from the brand saying, hey, we want to send you some more products. I've also heard that if you share a similar brand to uh, another brand that they'll show interest as well. Um, anyways, let's get into it. Here's the package here. Okay, so, they sent, they sent me the Hydrate line. I think it's a newer line. I'm all about hydration, so I'm definitely excited for this. This is their Deep Moisture Repair Mask. Here. This is their leave-in conditioner. I love a leave-in conditioner. If I had to say my favorite hair product, what it is, my favorite hair product is always leave-in conditioner. Especially if you're not washing your hair every day, if you're not wetting your hair every day, I think a leave-in conditioner is great. Obviously, my hair is like flat ironed right now, so I'm not using one daily. But when my hair is in not flat ironed, like if I'm wearing a bun and I'm wearing a protective style, I will use a leave-in conditioner because I feel like they are very helpful. This smells pretty good. It smells like salon. Hydrate. Okay, and then this is the shampoo and the conditioner. And then these are the shampoo and conditioner from the same line. Definitely excited to try these. I'm going to take some pictures. And then I need to get to work, okay? Like, I keep getting distracted. Like, I was just minding my business and then FedEx dropped this off, you know? Hey, friend. I just finished filming. Woo! This look is giving glam. And I threw in the extensions. I've put in both bundles today um today i used both bundles i also didn't really straighten them completely but ignore that i think it looks so good with the two bundles you can't really tell that my hair is a different color <laughs> blends it blends a lot better so i think it looks good i don't want to wear this hair on friday for sephoria but i'm a little nervous because of the weather I don't know we'll see we'll see anyways i do need to film a get ready with me wearing the same outfit so i just want to do that so i filmed my little ootd i also edited right on my phone on InShot, so that way it's ready to post i just need to find some background music i don't know if i'm going to talk over it now i'm just going to do some music for this one and now i need to edit my other videos i need to upload them to my computer and edit this is the outfit I wore for the OCD, by the way. I threw on the biker shorts and then I threw on and then these New Balance sneakers. So, yeah. I do wish I got the longer pants, but it's going to be 80 degrees on Monday. So I'm going to wear this on Monday. A little later, I just left the house. I had to go pick up an instrument for Cali. So I'm about to do that right now. I guess I'm taking a little break from work. My hair video, I just uploaded it before I left. I got these bars, you guys, and I thought they would taste good, but they really don't. Um, got these at Wegmans. Um. I thought they would taste good. I thought they were going to be like a softer consistency. Anyways, I grabbed one because I figure I'm going to have this as a little snack. I didn't really eat anything today besides the half of the coffee that I drank. And um, it's literally like 5 o'clock. Oh, and it's like 5 o'clock, so I wanted to eat something real quick. I don't know. It's a little too... Uh, the texture is a little weird for me. Part of me really wants to just go do some retail therapy, but I can't. You know. So I'm back home. I'm going to have this with a wrap. So basically a Greek chicken wrap. So I'm going to mix this all up. And this is the tortilla that I'm going to use for my wrap. Good morning. It's Thursday. I have the most unproductive morning today. I just haven't done anything. I turned the light off. Um, I just haven't really done any work, and I figure I'm gonna leave the house, 
go to Starbucks, get a drink, get some fresh air, and maybe I can come back and get my life together. <laughs> because it's just, you know, you wake up, it's just one of those days, you know. Got my, got my little brown sugar oat milk. We are on the way. I'm on the way back home now. I feel a lot better. I feel more rejuvenated. I feel like I got to walk around Target. I gave myself like 15 minutes, but then I gave myself 15 minutes in Target, but then I started kind of doing a little TikTok. Car is Sephora. So I started to figure out where it's at, the parking, all that stuff, because I haven't even checked to see the location and where I can park. I'm gonna park in a garage, I know, but I just need to know where that garage is gonna be at. I really wish Johnny could pick me up, but he has football tomorrow, he has a game, so he won't be able to pick me up. If he was able to pick me up, I would have just taken an Uber down and then have him pick me back up. It's easy to get an Uber to the city, but I know it would be very difficult to get an Uber from the city to up here because it's so far away and it's th the chances of me finding an uber that's coming up here it's gonna be very hard all right y'all so i just got home and my new phone case came in the mail so i'm gonna put it on this is what i ordered from case to buy so i got this one on Caseify's website. So last week I was saying that I ordered this from Caseify. I have seen it at Best Buy, but Best Buy only has the version with the black rim. So it has like a black rim here instead of the silver. And I noticed on Caseify you have the option of going with silver. So I really like this better. I like this version better. So I'm happy that I ordered it. And you get a little discount when you order on Caseify. So I'm gonna put this case on so I can use the mirror. The main reason why I got this is for when I'm filming um, makeup content for like TikTok or Instagram so I can see myself in this mirror. It's just gonna make my life a lot easier. It's not the most perfect mirror. It's a little distorted, but it's better than having nothing. So I'm gonna put this on. And then also this is my little thing that I had on my old case. So I'm going to put it on this case now because it matches this case. I feel like with this one, it didn't really match. And by the way, this is what I got at Target. I'll do this and then I'll show you what it is. Let's put y'all right here. I just posted on Instagram and everybody is so nice in the comments. Oh my gosh. All right, let me just take this off. Okay, scan to verify. What is this? I don't know what this means. Okay. So I'm going to add this. Alright, so we're going to do this little... Hold on. Alright, so we're going to do this part. I don't know exactly how you do this. So you put it in this hole. Yeah, so I'm just going to... Leave it like this. Let me just pull this through. All right, there is my little. Okay, cute, cute. All right, let's put the phone in. Okay, nope. Let's do this way. I feel like these phones are like a little bit more snug in this case than my other phone. Like, I don't know. There we have it. This is it. This is you guys in the camera <laughs> and my work that I'm doing. And then and then these are my notebooks because I'm doing some work right now. So this is the brush that I got from Target. It says Conair with the Not Doctor. Um, I'm not sure who the not doctor is, but I've been wanting to try this for a while for Callie because like I said, I feel like the round brushes are not the best for her. It gets tangled in her hair. I've also used the air straight, but I like the fact that you can detangle while blowing out with this type of brush. So we're going to try this out tonight once I wash her hair. All right, so I just washed Callie's hair. We're going to do the brush now. I've been momming, so you haven't seen me. Panthers. Pants are soaked. I'm gonna use this for her hair. This is just a blow dry spray to quicken the process. I'm scared. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Do y'all see this? This is literally one of the highways that I would have to use today to go to Sephora. Basically, I'm not going.
been contemplating all morning whether or not I was going to go to Sephora because it's been raining like crazy in New York for the past day into tomorrow. And I thought I was going to go, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to go, but I've been looking at these videos and there's a lot of flooding. Like it's actually serious. So, um, that with my parents also like scaring me, <laughs> um, with the weather, I'm just not going to go. It's not worth it. The FDR is one of the highways because it's on the Lower East Side. So that's the highway that I would need to use to get there. And it's clearly flooded based on that video. I don't know what part of it is, but any part is too much for me. I don't know what how bad it's going to get. I heard like some of the bridges are going to be closed or whatever. I'm just like, um, um, no. I definitely need to cross a bridge to get to Manhattan. So I'm just not going to go. I'm really sad about it because I actually really, really wanted to go last year, I think, or last time it was in LA or somewhere else, not New York. And I really wanted to go, but I guess I can't because it's too dangerous. It's not, you know, it's not a good idea. I don't want to get stuck in water. I don't want to get stuck in traffic. I don't want to get stuck in water. I actually looked up the time to get there. Like I did a GPS. I said an hour and 40 minutes. That is typically for me like a 50 minute drive, an hour and 40 minutes. And it's only 11 o'clock. It's only going to get worse later. So yeah, girl. Um, hmm. Yeah, my plans are pretty much ruined, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I guess I need to, I think I'll just have a self-care day at home because it's given rain and that's, you know, what I think I'll do. I really wish I had some soup so I could sit and watch a movie or something. Ooh, hey girl, so it's been a few hours since you last saw me I have a full face of makeup on because I just filmed a couple TikToks. Well, one TikTok and one reel. I tried out the new Fenty colors so if you want to see what they look like definitely go check out my instagram and i'll have it on tiktok as well so yeah love these camera a little lower so you guys can see the mess that's in front of me that i need to clean this is how i use my camera i put my phone on this little stand to film with it um this is old i've had it for a while it's from monfrado it's from this brand and then this is from joby i believe yeah, I'm gonna put all my brushes in this little bag. I do need to wash my brushes. I probably should do that tonight because I need to wash them. And I don't think I'm going anywhere tomorrow because it's gonna be raining. So it's a perfect day to wash them. Yeah, so these are my main brushes that I use for pretty much like everyday use. I have a bunch of stuff in front of me. I don't even know where the cover is. Alright, so I have a couple of lights in front of me. This is a clip-on light. This one is screws on here. I use them both. It just kind of depends on the day or what I'm filming, I guess. Got these a little these. Y'all, I found I found this light the other day and this is so funny because it was in one of my old bags from when I used to work at the hospital. Sometimes I would have to get to work like an hour or two early because of like the schedule if I had to get dropped off by Johnny or something like that. So I would come in really early and I would literally set this light up and film like a quick little Instagram get ready with me <laughs> with this light i actually forgot all about it until i found it yesterday so i'm definitely going to use it it does have to be it does have a battery but i have no idea where the battery is at but it can also be plugged in so i'm going to use it plugged in it's a nice portable light it's small enough to carry with you um maybe i'll try to find a battery online so i can have a battery but either way i can still plug it whenever i'm home and have a nice little portable ish light
All right, so I just finished editing and posting my content. And I did a little bit of planning for next week. I need to do some more planning. I'm going to have a mango for lunch with, um, I don't know yet, but this is going to be like my carb for, for lunch. And then I need to figure out protein because I need some protein. So yeah, nice ripe mango. It smells good. It smells so good. <laughs> Let's go cut this up. So I'm using a bread knife because all my other knives are dirty. <laughs> I need to do my dishes, but I need to empty the dishwashers first, so yeah. So good. You're not nice, you boo. I never do this to you. What you putting me through? Good morning, it's Saturday. Johnny and I are about to go run a couple errands real quick. I'm wearing a hat today because it's still kind of drizzling a little bit. And I'm wearing my very much oversized now Essentials um, top. Like I, I placed an order on Fashion Nova because I really need like clothes that fit. But I don't want to spend money on clothes that I think are not going to fit me in a month from now. So, um, well, like, you know good quality. I don't want to get, I don't want to spend too much, you know? So I picked up some stuff from Fashion Nova. They should be coming in this week or next week. So that way I could have some things that actually fit. I do have some things that fit, but um, a lot of my clothes do not fit. I got to put some lotion on my hands. We're back home. I got my little drink. Johnny got his drink from... <laughs> from Duncan, I got my old Starbucks. Hey girls, a little later. Um, I'm gonna put some of this on my lips from YSL. This is the shade. Can't see that. It says shade number is 162. Johnny went to football. He had football today because they had to cancel yesterday because of all the rain. So he went to football and so he, so he had to go to football today. And so I'm gonna go to lunch with the kids. Three o'clock right now, three sixteen. He's gonna be out until late, probably like nine o'clock. We're gonna go to dinner. Well, dinner, I guess. I think we're gonna go to Chili's. Chili's is like our go-to kind of like sit-down place for lunch slash dinner because they have options for everyone. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I need some lotion. I'm gonna use this lotion it's kind of reflecting on my week a little bit and i just realized like this week was everything was just going the opposite way of my plan a few things that were definitely noticeable like i think the first day i vlogged this week i had gone to my appointment that was not really my appointment it got moved to like the end of the next month and i didn't even know so that happened and then on wednesday i don't think i told you guys but wednesday i went to get Callie's instrument before getting it, I texted Johnny to say, did they call and is it ready? And he responded that he said, yes, it's ready. So I went there and it wasn't ready. They had, they, when they checked the system, it had just shipped out to them. So they said it'll probably, they said that it may be ready by Friday, but it's not there yet. It's not in the store. Basically, I didn't get the instrument. And I don't think I said anything on Wednesday because I was kind of like, really? Like, this is the second time I did something this week and... I went out of my way to get something or do something and it wasn't the day it wasn't ready so later he actually like misread my text i don't know exactly what he thought but they had emailed him earlier that day so i think he thought that the email that he received was them saying it was ready you gotta go get dressed <laughs> i don't know what that is but go get dressed so i think he thought the email was them saying it was ready because he forwarded me the email as well um but it was kind of just like a receipt from the play. I guess they finalized the order and they sent the receipt that same day. So he thought they were saying it was ready. Friday was Sephora. Sephora got canceled. And honestly, like I started to kind of feel like I didn't really want to go anymore just because the weather. I kind of knew the weather was going to rain, but I didn't know how bad it was going to rain. If it's one time I hate going to Manhattan, it's during the rain. Like I hate Manhattan in the rain. It gets mess. It's disgusting. It's messy. It's smelly. It's just the worst. I hate going to Manhattan in the rain. I th I think I was just traumatized from going to high school in Manhattan. 
when it came to rain because in this city, if you went to high school in the city or went to school in this, if you went to school in the city in like a public school or most schools in the city at that, they do not close those schools. It could be snow. It could be a blizzard. It could be, girl, it could be anything. They do not close well, the city schools. In, like, Manhattan, mm -hmm. when it was, like, the big flood in Queens, mm -hmm. they didn't close the school. It was, like, it, if you go to school, it's the safest place for children. No, they really don't close the schools. I remember when I was in high school, um, I don't remember before high school for whatever reason, but I remember high school, they closed the school. There was only one, maybe two times that school was closed. The first time it was closed, it was because MTA had a strike. And that was the only reason. Obviously, there's a strike, so no transportation was working, so they had to close the school. That was the only time I really remember, and I think there was one other time, but it was something to do with, like, it was out of their control type of thing, but when it comes to weather, nope, the schools are open, and I remember having to go to school in the rain, and it was just like, no, I stepped in puddles, like, my legs got soaked. <laughs> In the nasty water, like, I just have nightmares. <laughs> I just have, like, the yeah, I've, I've been traumatized by it. When, I, be when you're too beautiful to get wet. <laughs> can you go put your socks and your sweater on, girl? <laughs> so when I saw rain on the schedule on Thursday, I was kind of already like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to go. Then on Friday morning, I saw what the rain actually looked like. I was like, oh. I don't, I'm not going. I'm not going to this. This is crazy. I was gifted the ticket. I felt kind of bad about it. But then um, Sephora did end up canceling the entire event because it was actually like not safe out there. Like things were actually flooding really bad. There's cars underwater. Um, yeah, it was a hot mess. So they ended up canceling the event, which I know a lot of people were actually upset about, but did these people actually see outside? Because when I saw outside, I was like, ooh, I'm not, mm. Some people were saying that they should have made a decision earlier, but honestly, you just never know. Like, with rain, you're not thinking it's going to be like that. Like, they didn't know the rain was going to be that crazy, so I think that's why they weren't going to cancel it originally. But once you actually saw what the rain looked like, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, you know? Anyways, so that was kind of like my week. I felt like things were just happening, you know, from Tuesday to Wednesday to Friday. Like, it was just kind of giving... Mm, my week had its own plans, okay? None of my plans was planning. <laughs> so, um, anyways, it's Saturday. I feel good. I drank... Oops, I drank my little coffee. Well, half of it. I usually drink half of these coffees whenever I get them. I send my kids to get dressed and I just know they're not getting dressed. Like, I feel like they're playing around upstairs. But yeah, we're going to go to Chili's. I think I'm going to stop at Best Buy. I kind of want to get some headphones. So I may stop at Best Buy to grab those if they have them in stock. I don't know. We'll see. Besides that, I think, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Stop at Best Buy, check out the headphones and go to dinner slash lunch lunch slash dinner we're gonna have a mommy and kids type of day also when i get home tonight i really need to edit main reason is well, a couple reasons for one i feel like a little unmotivated with like editing and also with the gym and i feel like maybe if i get a fresh pair of headphones i'll feel like a little bit more motivated i don't know I think I will because I'll be excited to use them. And I've also kind of wanted them for a while anyway. So I figure maybe if I get them, I'll feel more motivated to do both activities. The gym has been kind of like hard for me lately just because I've been tired. I haven't been going to bed early enough. I've been going to bed at like one o'clock in the morning. Um, the past like three, two to three weeks. I don't know why. I just... Yeah, sometimes Johnny and I will stay up talking. Sometimes I'll be like watching a show. Sometimes I'll be just like tossing and turning. I don't know, but it's kind of like a cycle though because when I do go to the gym, I'm able to go to sleep early and I don't have that problem. But when I don't go, I feel like I have all this energy and I can't sleep at night and, and I can't fall asleep at a reasonable hour. So kind of need to just force myself to go, but we're gonna give ourselves some motivation the other thing i like to do for the gym to feel more motivated is to get gym clothes but like i've been saying a lot recently i really don't want to get clothes that are 
you know pricier because it makes no sense right now so i'm not getting any new clothes for the gym but i figure maybe headphones will do all right let me go see what these kids are up to because they should be ready and dressed and down here but they're not also these jeans are old they're from madewell and they fit pretty well because they're stretchier but like the waist you guys can't see but the waist is crazy there's like so much extra room i could literally bring these all the way down without unbuttoning them um so my hips fill them out really nicely but the waist is absolutely insane it's like it definitely does not fit so i roll them so i roll them down like this like a sweatpants so that they stay a little bit more secured i'm struggling with the clothes y'all I'm taking my mommy purse with me and I need to bring my charger because my phone is on I don't know what it's on right now what is it on 78% also I kind of forgot why I wasn't the biggest fan of this case when I first had it it's because of all the handprints like it just gets so dirty because of the you know it's a mirror so I don't know about this I don't know I mean I really like it for filming because it really does make my life a little easier but the handprints, it's a lot. I have a little cleaner with me to clean it up, but it gets so dirty every two seconds. So I'm gonna bring these. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take these with me. I'm taking my hat as well, just in case it starts raining because I'm not ready to wash my hair yet. It's still straight. Um, I'm not ready to wash my hair yet. Maybe next week. You guys. Callie and... Are you guys ready? That's a dog show. Are you sure they have the same chili? We came here last, well, we came to a different one with Gigi, but we came here last weekend. I don't remember getting a pepper, though. I made this into kind of a heart, I think. I see yours, plate. They made plankton. Do you like my love purple? Cute. Okay. I see. You did. <laughs> I forgot. All right, so we're at Barnes and Noble right now. Kids section. Right in. Wait, where was it, mommy? Who's on the top shelf? They maybe the. Oh, I found it. Nintendo's my... name. Picked up my it headphones. Was, on the shelf. was it? Yeah. I my headphones from Best Buy. It's only $6. Is it? Yeah. If you get, if you get it, it's only $6. Mm. 